Welcome back everyone. Have you ever experienced this feeling that when you get a gift, you feel that you want to give something back? This urge to give back is at the core of reciprocity. In this video, we will focus on the human nature or psychology aspect of it with a short look at the area of physics. In short, reciprocity is a mutual exchange based on the principle of give and take. The rule says that we should try to repay in kind what another person has provided us. By virtue of the reciprocity rule, then we are obligated to the future repayment of favors, gifts, invitations and the like. Let's move from the area of human interaction to the area of physics and look at reciprocity's definition there. In physics, reciprocity is Newton's third law, which states that for every force exerted by object A on object B, there is an equal but opposite force exerted by object B on object A. Every force involves the interaction of two objects, where the force asserted by one is reciprocated with an equally powerful and directionally opposite force by the other object. Humans engage in two types of reciprocity with each other. Direct, which is I help you and you help me, and indirect, which is either a pay it forward concept, I help you and then you help someone else, or more about reputation building, I help you building a reputation as one who helps so that someone else helps me in the future. Both kinds work. While reciprocity isn't as reliable when it comes to humans as it is with physics, the concept can help you achieve better outcomes by Shane Parrish. Reciprocity is future oriented. We can do something now to probably get back something in kind later on. The concept of pay it forward is interesting because we can influence people or do something good on people beyond our first interaction. Just a short disclaimer, reciprocity and reciprocation are two words or two concepts which are often used interchangeably. However, they are slightly different. Reciprocation is a specific instance of giving back in response to something received, while reciprocity encompasses broader mutual interactions. In simpler terms, reciprocation is a part of the larger concept of reciprocity. Both are nearly identical and we will use them also mostly interchangeably. I just want you to know that there is a slight difference between them. When we receive a gift, for example on Christmas holiday, we feel the urge to give something back. It is not so much about to give back the equal value, like the equal monetary value for example. It is more about to give back our honest appreciation and gratitude. In my opinion, the cycle of giving and receiving and the bonding which is created with this makes the Christmas spirit. And of course, we can substitute here the Christmas holidays with any other holiday from other cultures. This is the basis all of reciprocity and brings joy through mutual appreciation and gratitude. This all goes far beyond giving gifts. You are standing in front of an elevator. The door is open and inside the elevator is one solitary stranger. You have never met this person before in your whole life. You walk into the elevator. You have three choices for how you are going to behave as you walk into this elevator. Choice number one. You can smile and say good morning. And I say, at least in California, if you do that. 98% of the time, the person will smile and say good morning back. You can test it. Okay, my guess is you are going to find that 98% of the time, people say good morning. Choice number two. You can walk in and you can scowl and hiss at the stranger in the elevator. And they have no idea why you are scowling and hissing at them. And I say, 98% of the time, they may not hiss back at you, but they will scowl back at you. And option number three. This is where the wisdom comes. You can walk into the elevator and you can do nothing. And what you get 98% of the time if you walk into an elevator and you do nothing from that stranger in the elevator? Nothing. It's mirrored reciprocation, isn't it? But what did you have to do? You have to go first. And you're going to get back whatever you put out there. By Peter Kaufman. Reciprocity is a powerful concept of persuasion. It can be used against us. Sometimes, unconsciously or consciously, we are using it selflessly. At other times, we are using it with self-interest. The free sample is a great example. The beauty of the free sample, however, is that it is also a gift and as such can engage the reciprocity rule. A favorite place for free samples is the supermarket, where customers are frequently provided with small cubes of a certain variety of cheese and meat to try. Many people find it difficult to accept the sample from the always smiling attendant, return only the toothpick and walk away. Instead, they buy some of the product even if they might not have liked it especially well. I'm not here to judge this use of reciprocity, but I'm here to show you that it can be good to be aware of it. It's not always that the self-interest way is bad, it is more nuanced. For example, when I forgive another person and this other person also forgives me in kind, like uses reciprocation. 
then it's overall really positive. And I'm not forgiving in the first place this person because of the other person's sake. I'm also forgiving this person because of my self-interest. So in the end, it's a win-win where both parties profit. In my opinion, the best way to give is to give without any expectation to receive anything back. Because when we do it this way, we are not there to get disappointed. But it's also in a way self-interest. Because when we give selflessly, only for the sheer joy of giving, which is actually, I think, like a really positive thing to do, it's also in a way self-interested probably, because we get the joy of giving back. So it's we feel better. So it's also like in a way self-interest. But you can judge by yourself. I don't know. But I still think this is like a really good way to give. Or giving overall is like really good. Reciprocity is capable of influencing our interactions positively. As Peter Kaufman puts it. All you have to do if you want everything in life from everybody else is first pay attention. Listen to them. Show them respect. Give them meaning, satisfaction and fulfillment. Convey to them that they matter to you and show you love them. But you have to go first. And what are you going to get back? Mirrored reciprocation. All you have to do is to go positive. Go first. Be patient enough. By Peter Kaufman. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And as always, I wish you a fantastic day.